How's it going? Motor City Miner here, and I finally got the last charger I've been, well, not charger, but uh, power brick I've been waiting for to upgrade my last KS0 to that new overclock. Uh, as you guys may have seen in Greater Good Mining's Discord, uh, so many of us were trying to all buy this 180-watt PSU uh, <laughs> that after I put my order in for all four, uh, I got a notice from Amazon that they would be delayed um probably because they didn't have enough to fill all the orders luckily i did end up getting three pretty quickly um but this last one had to wait like almost a week before it came in even though it's all from the same order so excited that it's here um so figured i'd go over you know the overclocking process so these are all batch two and i think this last one's a batch three or four i can't remember ks zero supposedly the ks zero the very first batch so the one i gave to chili um has some issues with this overclock uh but all mine have been working great these three that i've been running it so i'm gonna go kind of go over the process of how to get it on to my last one here i just figured i'd make a quick video about it so um first i'm just gonna unbox my new psu um again i recommend the 180 watt one that t swift has been recommending so i'll put a link down below to get it on amazon um uh, you know i don't want you don't want to, it's not worth the risk to you know uh push your psu too far so this gives you a nice buffer room versus either the 90 or 120 watt power supplies that come with these units um so yeah gonna get this unboxed and be right back all right so we got the new psu plugged in it's not plugged into the unit yet did some you know wire management so to speak again love these open tubular steel shelves i can just wrap wires around them uh just to deal with all that extra so we're gonna plug this guy in now should just start right up and then we can uh then we can go on to the computer to uh overclock this thing unfortunately this one i do not have um screws to hold down this fan so i still need to get those but that's all right it sits flat so it's not like it's going anywhere anytime soon um but yeah looks like it is starting up just wait for that green light to start blinking and should be good to go yep there it goes green lights blinking so it is mining right now uh, on the standard software so we're gonna get this updated and do some overclocking see you guys on the computer all right so we're in the computer now um you can see it just started back up after we plugged it back in on the new psu so uh first thing you're going to want to do is actually download the firmware upgrade so i've already downloaded it um but essentially i'll put a link down below to the github page where you can download the different ones i'm using the 160 uh giga hash uh overclock but there's 140 150 and 160 depending on what works for you so far the 160 has been working fine for me on all mine so once you have it downloaded you're going to want to select file you're going to go to where it is so i have this uh, this guy right here this update 160 dot bg z um it is going to say fake path that's fine it's just a bug in all these ice rivers it's completely okay and then you're gonna press update. It'll take a few moments here. Just be patient, wait for it to finish. All right, it says operation succeeded. And then I'll say confirm restarting the mining machine. You'll wanna press okay. If you don't press okay, it will not update so um, this should change down here so that i was running uh the, the update from the most recent update i think it's august firmware from ice river which you do have to run the latest firmware before doing this upgrade so just make sure you're running the latest from ice river before applying this update so once it restarts we should see some new information there
All right, so our Ice River KS0 has rebooted. It does have new information here, ever so slightly different for the firmware information, so it does look like it went through successfully. Uh, this five minute hash rate will always say abnormal at first once it starts uh, hashing until after it's been up, up for five minutes, so nothing to worry about there. It has connected to the pool. Um, and then one thing to note, on all these KS years is the fans default to zero after a restart, which I'm not a big fan of. I always leave my fans on. I'd rather run my stuff cooler and have more longevity and replace fans if needed. Um, but before you set these, uh, you will have to wait for it to get to that five minute mark. If you change, is there's a lot of interesting little bugs in here. If you change the fan setting prior to having a five minute hash rate, it will actually not set the fan it'll like go up to what you set it at for a brief moment before uh the fans go back to zero and then you can't change it without restarting the miner so just a fyi there we're gonna let this sit for five minutes until we're hashing all right so we are up in hashing now you can see we're at 154 giga hash after the five minute mark which is awesome. The update has gone through well. Do have a slight pool rejection rate. And I've seen this in all mine. I was hovering around a little under 1% uh, prior, and I'm using Hero Miners. Um, it has an increase with this overclock, but I think this is just like an error in the API here because on the pool side, I never see any rejected shares. And my averages over 24 hours have been very close to exactly what's showing here. So, uh, like I said, we are going to quickly turn on our fans. But now that it is is up and mining. So just give me a moment. There we go. That should add our fans. Again, you want to wait those five minutes to add the fan or else for some reason it just craps out and won't actually be active so we should see these temps come down considerably here in the next couple minutes all right so it's been going for 10 minutes now a little over 10 minutes so you can see that it's stabilizing around that 157 mark um, and our temps are slowly coming down so seems all set so that's kind of all you got to do to overclock your ice river ks0 again links down below to where you can download the three different uh overclock values as well as um the psu upgrade again i recommend the, the 180 watt just to be safe rather be safe than sorry and not burn your house down um and yeah that's that's really all we got again this pool rejection rate I've noticed that it isn't very accurate, so um, coming down in the pool side here, you can see all these, like pretty much all my other machines are getting exactly what, you know, they're saying in the software, which is slightly less than the 160, and these invalids are all from uh, back in Prior to the pool upgrades, the pool all pretty much all the Casper pools did an upgrade back in August that eliminated most of the invalid shares. So I think this software is just misreporting. It's almost like it's going back to what it used to be uh, prior to that fix. So uh, I think it's just misreporting on the dashboard of your miner side. Um, but anyway. So you can see that we're already up above 100 here, and this should slowly climb over the next 24 hours to kind of fall in line with my other three that I've been running this uh, upgraded overclock for a little while now. So hope you all found this informative. You know, like, subscribe, comment down below. Have you overclocked your KS0 or your KS1 or KS2 or your KS3s yet? Um, you know, it's pretty much, it's not free money. It does, you know, Pop, require a little more power but um and a psu upgrade but you know um especially with the network hash rate forever climbing uh it allows you to stay a little more competitive and you know keep your daily uh caspa earnings pretty you know from going down quite as much so again hope you enjoyed this content like subscribe comment down below and that's all i got on overclocking your ks zeros
until next time.